meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. We'll have some spotty showers possible as we go through the early evening hours here. As we go past sunset, less likely. 75 at 9 o'clock down to 73 at 11 p.m. tomorrow. We'll start off with sunshine. We'll be at 71 degrees after overnight lows mid and upper 60s. 80 degrees at noon and 85 at 5 o'clock. Just some fair weather clouds floating around, mostly sunny into the afternoon hours tomorrow. Highs tomorrow similar to today, except the humidity values will drop a little bit. We should be into the mid-80s. Speaking of those humidity, here Here's the uh, dew point forecast. 71 for our dew point at 10 o'clock, but look at those numbers drop down to the low 60s at 9 o'clock, 60 at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, still low 60s at 9 p.m. So when you get those numbers back down to around uh, 60, it's a bit sticky, but still not that far from being pleasant, and certainly nothing like what we've seen over the last couple of days, the uh, oppressive and uncomfortable levels we had late yesterday and into today. A spotty evening shower around the area, the lower humidity air coming in Tuesday. But then we'll crank up the heat by late in the week, and we're going to see those temperatures really soar. It looks like uh, once we get to Thursday and Friday, highs into the 90s, and those 90 degree highs could continue into the upcoming weekend. Clouds moving in from the northwest tonight on the Troy Stouter Center. Some breaks out there, but definitely a partly to mostly cloudy sky, and you can see the mostly cloudy conditions in Springfield at the Duncan Oil Company camera. No rain right now over downtown Dayton, but back to the west of us tonight. We have been checking out some light rain showers coming in from the northwest. Maybe there is a shower there uh, starting to pop up just west of town moving into Dayton. So you may see a couple of sprinkles swing through the area here early this evening, but not a lot in the way of precipitation. Actually, most of that it looks like is aloft on our uh, radar scope right now moving through the Dayton area. But we do have some showers showing up northwest of us coming into the east central part of Indiana along that cold front. Now, some of the rainfall totals this morning with those thunderstorms. Uh, Lowell Miller in Greenville, 1.1 inches of rain. Jason Thompson, over an inch of rain in Brookville. Uh, Jim Shank out in Eaton, an inch of rain. And a lot of the Miami Valley picking up about a half inch or so. Uh, Don Chateau in Sydney, a half inch of rain. Uh, my mom's hometown of Fort Lormie, four tenths of an inch of rain falling there. Amy Hoying calling that in. 81 degrees right now in Dayton. We have a west wind at 8 and a relative humidity of 72%. It's muggy out there. We have low to mid 80s tonight across the region, upper 70s to the west and south. Southwest heat index numbers into the mid 80s right now for us as you factor in the temperature and the humidity. Our future track forecast may be a spotty shower early on tonight. Then the dry weather moves in. Looks like some nice conditions on the way for tomorrow. Nice midsummer weather with a dropping humidity values and highs into the 80s. Just basically what you'd expect for this time of year. And the dry weather will continue right on into Wednesday too. Then we'll see the heat building late week. Tonight down to 67. A spotty evening shower clearing late night, and uh, west northwest winds will drop off. Mostly sunny, a slight drop in humidity tomorrow. High 86 degrees with a light north wind, 76 at 10 o'clock, and then up into the low to mid 80s tomorrow afternoon, 86 at 4 o'clock. Your storm team two seven day forecast. Upper 80s on Wednesday with sunshine. Could see a shower thunderstorm pop up Thursday, but look at that heat 90 degrees, and then low to mid 90s for Friday and Saturday. Still into the low 90s on Sunday with a cold front moving in. Then temperatures drop a little bit early next week. But uh, look, look out for some late week heat. A warm week on the way. Definitely.